Shalom, Kal Halal, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwaf, that'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today is going to be entitled Great Millstone as a Body Have and Teach the 100% Truth. Okay? GMS, okay, which is the acronym for Great Millstone as a Body, beginning with our elders and apostles. Okay? Have and Teach the 100% Truth. Okay? So, with that being said, we're going to get into some scriptures, okay? And Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified, okay? Now, the scriptures tell you to eat the whole roll, man, okay? You have to eat the whole roll and then go out and teach, you see? You can't come with half truths. You know, the scriptures say no lie is of the truth. Okay, the scriptures say, and he shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You have to know the whole truth. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, the Lord told Ezekiel to eat the roll, meaning the whole book, man. All right? The, the, the Old Testament, the Apocrypha, and the New Testament, man. Okay, the Lord said he come in the volume of the book. So at the end of the day, you have to eat the whole roll, okay? Now, at the end of the day, the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments, the covenant was made with Israel, the nation of Israel, okay? But you have, you have true prophets and you have false prophets, okay? And at the end of the day, in these times right now, the true prophets are the men of Great Millstone, okay? Why? Because they teach the 100% truth. And that's a testament uh, of the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai being rested upon them. Why? Because they speak the 100% truth. So that is to show that the Lord is dealing with the head apostles. Okay, on down the, the, the men of Great Millstone. Okay. So let's get some scriptures. Okay. And um, Lord willing. Uh we um, be able to prove to the scriptures, okay, that uh, we have the 100% truth, man, because at the end of the day, you were commanded to eat the whole roll. That's the point. You were, you were commanded to eat the whole roll, man, to read this book and have understanding of the whole book. And, and, and Great Millstone as a body, okay, as a body, have the 100% truth. You see, beginning with our elders, our elders are on down, man. Elder, elder Apostle Tahar, okay, Elder Apostle Gabay, Elder Apostle Rukai, Elder Apostle Ramlab, okay, the Elder Bishops, okay. So at the end of the day, yeah, like 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 like, like I said, man. Um, Salakia, give me a quick second. Let me turn off the notification uh, off this phone here, right quick. I didn't realize I didn't turn the notification off. Let me set that real quick, and uh, we can continue into the lesson. Um, okay, bear with me here. It won't take it won't take uh, that long. Okay, here we go, and we're back. Okay, I needed to turn off the notification. So let's get to the scriptures. Okay. 
let's go. We're going to start off into the book of, um, all right. Once again, let me read the title again since I have to uh, fix up that notification. GMS, okay, which is an acronym for Great Millstone. Great Millstone as a body have and teach, have and teach the 100% truth. We have the 100% truth, man, and we teach the 100% truth. Beginning with our elders, apostles, okay, our elders and apostles all the way down, okay? But we're going to start off in the book of uh, Second Ezra. So let's go to the Apocrypha. Okay, we're going, to, we're going to start off in the book of, um, we're going to start off in Second Ezra, the 14th chapter, okay? And we're going to read, this is the, this is, uh, the prophet Ezra, right? Where the Lord appeared unto Ezra. And speaking to Ezra, the prophet Ezra, he's speaking of one of the earlier prophets of, of Moses. Okay, another man of God. Okay, Moses, which he wrote the first five book uh, of the scriptures, which is known as the Torah in the Old Testament. Okay, so let's read. It says, And it came to pass upon the third day, I sat under an oak tree. This is, this is, this is the, prof, the prophet Ezra. It says, Behold, it says, And behold, Slakia. It didn't say it's tree. It says, I sat under an oak. Okay? It says, and so Slakia. It says, and behold, there came a voice out of a bush over against me and said, Ezra's, Ezra's. Okay? Remember Moses saw the burning bush? It's almost like the same thing here. But it says, verse 2, and I said, here I am, Lord. And I stood up upon my feet. It says, then said he unto me, in the bush, I did manifestly reveal myself unto Moses, remember? Okay. It says, and talk with him. And when my people served in Egypt, and I sent him and led my people out of Egypt and brought him up to the mount of, of uh, up to the mount of where I held him, by me a long season. So the Lord had Moses up on the mount a long season, man. Supping with Moses. You see? Moses, the man of God. The lawgiver. Okay? Moses was a prophet. A man of God. Verse 5. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 5. It says, And I told him many wondrous things and showed him the secrets of the times. So the Lord showed Moses the secrets of the times. And the end, and the Lord even showed him the end times, and the end, and commanded him, saying, These words shall thou declare, and these shall thou hide. Now, see, the Lord told the Lord, say, He held Moses a long season, man, up on the mount. Okay, and says, And I told him many wondrous things. The Lord told him many wondrous things, and showed him the secrets of the times. The Lord showed him the secrets of the time, man. The scriptures say, uh, Amos chapter 3, verse 7, Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he reveal his secrets unto, the ser unto his servants, the prophets, man. Moses was the man of God. Okay? He said, it says, And showed him seek the, the secrets of the times and the end, and the end, meaning the end times, and commanded him, saying, verse 6, 2 Ezra chapter 14 and verse 6, These words shall thou declare, and these shall thou hide. So, Moses, remember Moses write the first five books, okay? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Moses wrote those books, okay? Okay? And the Lord showed him, the Lord told him, okay? These shall thou declare, and these shall thou hide. So, certain things were hidden. That means that we didn't get everything. But guess what? We have enough, okay, what, 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 we did, what we did get, we have the 100% of what we did get. Because the scriptures tell you how the secret things belong to the Most High, man. Those things are revealed, that are revealed, belong to us and our children. Because the law, such as command, was given unto us. Okay, so those things that actually were revealed unto us, okay, the men of GMS, beginning with our elders, apostles, okay, all right, and as a body, we have the hundred percent truth of that, and we do teach it. Okay, let's get that scripture to, to solidify that. Okay, to back that up real quick. Uh, let's go to the book of Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-nine and verse twenty-nine. Okay, so remember the Lord told Moses to 
declare certain things. So all what you read in those first five books, which is known as the Torah, okay, Moses revealed those things, but certain things he didn't reveal because the Lord told him to reveal them, right? Because the secret things belong unto the Most High. The scriptures say, when our Lord Yahweh shall return, that's when we're going to know all things. You see? Um, uh, Deuteronomy, this is Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29. It says, the secret things belong unto Yahweh. You see? The secret things. Those things the Lord told Moses to hide, man. He showed unto Moses, but it wasn't for us to get at this time. You see, we're going to get those, those things when the Lord returns, man. It says, the secret things belong unto the, to the Lord, our power, but those things which are revealed belong unto us. You see? And to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. You see that? The secret things which belong the secret things belong to Yahweh, our power, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and our, unto our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. So guess what? Certain things, okay, until the most are ready to reveal them to you, okay, you're not gonna know them. But he he revealed enough for us to have salvation, man. You see? And, and, what he, and what he did reveal, we have 100% truth of that, man, because that's why the Lord told uh, uh, Ezekiel to eat the roll, eat the whole roll, man. You got to eat the, the whole roll so you could be able to teach the 100% truth because the, the scriptures speaks about being ready to give a, a, a quick answer. You got to be ready to, be, to give a quick answer. The only way you can be ready to give a quick answer is if you study. That's why the scriptures tell you, 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved unto the most high workman, which need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You got to study, man. The scripture said to give diligence to make your call an election sure. Okay? 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. Okay? Uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 14 where it says, uh, uh, if, you seek if you seek such things, okay, meaning the, the return of our Lord in the kingdom of heaven, of heaven it says to be dil uh, uh, give diligence, man. Be diligent. Okay? That you may be found spotless and blameless. When our Lord returns, roughly paraphrasing. You see, so the secret things, those things, they, they belong to the Most High, but the, those things which are revealed belong to us and our children, man. Okay? So it's not going around, man. Let's go from there. We're going to go to the book of Baruch. All right? Let's go to the book. Let's go, let's go back to the Apocrypha. Let's get the book of Baruch. Baruch chapter 4. I start at verse 1. It says, This is the book of of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Okay? So at the end of the day, this is the book, man, which no other book could be compared unto. This is the living waters, man. This is the book that has all the prophecies in it, man. And scriptures tell you that none shall want or mate. Okay, Isaiah 34 and 16 showing you that no other book can be compared to this book, man. The Holy Scriptures, man. Verse 2, it says, turn thee, O Jacob, okay, and take hold of it, okay? Who's Jacob, the progenitor or the patriarch of the 12 tribes of, uh, 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 of the Israelites, man, of Israel? Okay, the, the 12 tribes, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's talking to you, man. Turn, to, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it, meaning take hold of this law, statutes, and commandments, man, which was given to us. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated, man. You see? That's why the scriptures tell you in the book of Matthew to, 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 to let your light so shine, man. It said, it speak right here saying that thou mayest be illuminated, mean, mean lit, man. Because uh, uh, scriptures speak about a candle don't supposed to be hid under a bushel, man. It's supposed to be light, okay? In a, in a place where it can give light, man, to those that are in the room, Okay? Scripture say that give uh, uh, let your light so shine that you may uh, 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 that uh, let your light so shine before men, okay, that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Okay, this is why <laughs> you want to be illuminated, man. Have that light to shine upon you, man. The, the wisdom and knowledge of the understanding of the heavenly Father's words, man. Verse three it says, "Give not thine honor to another, nor the things." That are profitable, profitable unto thee to a strange nation. What is profitable, profitable unto you? 
The law, statutes, and commandments, man. Those things bring to long life. Wisdom brings to long life, man. Scriptures tell you that. Okay? Verse 4, it says, O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the Most High, Yahweh, are made known unto us. You see? These things are made known unto us, man. The law, the statutes, the commandments, these things were given unto us, man. You see? And we teach it, man. The 100% of it, man. Okay? Because our elders, they, they tell you, man, all right, to eat that roll, man. As the scriptures command you to eat the whole roll, man. You see? From there, let's go. We're going to go back to the Old Testament. We're going to get, uh, we're going to get Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. We're going to begin at verse five. And it says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments. This is Moses again now. Remember the Lord supped with him a long season. On the mount. Right? It says, Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my, co my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. This is what we have, man. This is what we have in the sight of the nations, man. As a matter of fact, a precept come to, the, come to mind real quick. Let me see if I can grab it. Romans, the Apostle Paul speak of it. The advantage, the advantage what we have, man. Okay, Romans chapter 3 and verse, verse, Romans chapter 3 and verse 1, I started 1, it says, What advantage then had the Jew? Okay, Jew is short term for, uh, uh, for Judah, man. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, the southern kingdom was known as uh, Judah, uh, Benjamin, uh, 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 Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, man, the Jews, man. Okay. What advantage then hath the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Much in every way. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. You see, that's the advantage that we have. Okay. Much in every way. Chiefly, verse 2. Romans 3 and 2. Much in every way. Chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. You see? So... It's no, it's no, it's no going around that, man. Ain't no going around it. You can't get around it. You know, the law, statutes, commandments was given unto us, man. So when you go back to Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 6, it says, Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. In the sight of the nations, man, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great? Who had the most high so nigh unto them as the Lord our power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is there so great that hath statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law which I set before you this day? Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently. You got that word diligent again. Keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen and least. That at least they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them to thy sons and thy sons' sons. It says, teach them to thy sons and thy sons' sons. Man, going back to the um, the title of this lesson, man, GMS, okay, as a body, have and teach the 100% truth, man. And we teach them, man, okay? It's our job to teach it, man, okay? So from there... We're going to back up that with the book of Isaiah. Because we, we're supposed to teach this our uh, son. Uh, okay, the sons. The, 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 uh, uh, another Israelite, man. A brother. Okay. Our, our kin. Our kinfolk. Okay. Um, this is Isaiah chapter 59. And verse 21. And it reads... As for me, this is my covenant with them, said the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed, said Yahweh, from henceforth and forever. So this is for this is for our people, man. The law was given unto us. Okay? The law was given unto us, man. Alright? When you read... Uh, uh, Isaiah the 44th chapter 
it goes into us coming back to our heritage, man. The Lord says he's going to pour water upon the ground, man. When you read Ezekiel, the 37th chapter, it goes into the valleys of, uh, of the dry bones. Of, of the dry bones. The Lord says he's going to breathe upon those bones, man. Okay, because we lost our heritage. When you read uh, Jeremiah, the 17th chapter and the 4th verse, it says, And, and thou shalt discontinue from thine heritage which I have gave thee. We, have, we discontinue our heritage, man. We lost the way. We, we transgress against the Lord. Therefore, the Lord punish us. And Paul, uh, 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 judgment, roughly paraphrasing over us, man, because we transgress against him, man, okay? The, the, the heathen nation, beginning with Esau, okay, in the time of slavery, they beat the Hebrew out of us, man, okay? But all what they did against us to try to destroy us, they, they, they didn't give account, they didn't give account for the spirit, all right? The spirit, all right, the Lord said he was Paul. Water upon the dry ground, man. When you read uh, so like, yeah, Isaiah 44 chapter, man, we come back into ourselves and know who we are, man. She came to say, uh, 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 in the land, uh, uh, what's that? He, uh, Hosea, the first chapter, in the 10th verse, in the land where it was said that, yeah, not my people, there shall it be said that, yeah, the sons of the living power, man. So it would, it, it's prophesied that uh, uh, at the end times we would, we would know who we are, we would begin to know who we are, man. You see? So there's nothing they could do against this word, man. This word stands faithful and true. The word of the Lord is faithful and true, man. Okay, the Lord's statutes and commandments were given unto us, man. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to the book of Psalms. Let's prove that some more. Psalms, uh, Psalms 147. Psalms 147, 19 and 20. All right. It says, he showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Okay? The book of uh, Joel chapter 2 verse 27 tell you how the, the, the Lord dwell in the midst of Israel, man. Okay? The elect at this time. Because they are the ones that are adhering, are adhering to this word and doing his will, which is to go out and preach and teach the word of the Lord. Truthfully, 100% truth. And, and, and uh, that's particularly at, at GMS and, and, and affiliated camps that teach, okay, the same doctrine. Okay? Um, let's get Romans. Let's get what the Apostle Paul said. Right? Romans chapter 9. Let's start at verse 4. It says, Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants. We were given the covenants, man. The old and the new is for Israel, man. And the giving of the law. Right? And the service of God and the promises, man. Come on, man. Who gave the law? Moses, man. The lawgiver. Right? Remember we read it in the beginning? Uh, how, how the Lord held him a long season and show him, and show him uh, 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 the secrets of the times and of the end times. Okay, so we have enough of what we were given. We have the hundred percent of what we are, what, 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 what was revealed unto us. We read that in Deuteronomy the twenty ninth chapter and the twenty ninth verse, man. All right, Romans nine and verse five says, "Whose are the fathers, and of whom is it's like it? Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Mashiach came, who is over all. God bless forever. Amen." So at the end of the day, the covenants, the adoption, the glory, okay, the law, the service of God, and the promise. These things were given to the Israelites, man. There's no getting around it, man. You see? Now we're going to go back to uh, Apocrypha, all right? And we're going to jump down in the book of uh, 2nd Ezra, the 14th chapter. We're going to jump down to the 7th verse, all right? And it says, and now I say unto thee. So when we, when we first started the lesson... We was in this same chapter, and, and, and the Lord was talking to Ezra, but he was speaking to him of Moses, how we held him a long season, and showed him uh, uh, the secret things and the end times, okay? And he told him to, uh, to, 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 to publish certain things and certain things to hide, okay? Now, likewise, he's doing the same thing with Ezra here, because Ezra, Ezra's, okay, was given commandment to write a lot of books, him and five other men. All right, it says, Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 7, And now I say unto thee, so we can jump down from the 7th verse, we're going to go to the 25th verse, it says, And come hither, meaning here, and I shall light a candle of understanding in thine heart, which shall not be put out, till the things be performed, which thou shalt begin to write. Right, so Ezra, okay, he was, he was given visions 
to write X amount of books. I believe 204. All right, it says, And when thou hast done, some things shalt thou publish, and some things shalt thou show secretly to the wise. You see? To tomorrow this hour shall thou begin to write. Now, it says, When thou, verse 26, 2 Corinthians 14 and 26, it says, When thou uh, when thou hast done, some things shall thou publish, just like what Moses was told. And when some things shall thou publish, and some things shall thou show secretly to the wise. Remember Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Certainly the Lord will do, surely the Lord will do nothing but he reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. So that's who's going to get the secret things, man. That's who these things are going to be revealed unto. It says, these things shall thou show secretly to the wise. That's the elect of this time, man, because the scriptures tell you, second, uh, Salakia, wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter and the 28th verse, it says, the Lord loves none than him who dwells with wisdom. It says, the Lord loves none than him who dwells with wisdom. Now, at the end of the day, you have to understand that wisdom is a gift. Okay, the scriptures tell you that every good gift comes from above. So if you dwell with wisdom, not the wisdom of this world, the wisdom of the scriptures, which is the supreme wisdom, all right? If you dwell with that, the Lord gave that to you, man. That's not of your own will. That's of the Lord at the end of the day. So only the elect was going to dwell with the supreme wisdom, man. You see? Only the elect are going to dwell with the supreme wisdom. Okay? And that's why we say, all right, the men of GMS, okay, as a body, have unteached the 100% truth. You see? Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump down on this scripture right here. Okay, I'm going to jump down to verse 36. All right, we're going to read the rest. It says, Let no man therefore come unto me now, nor seek after me these 40 days. All right, so I, Ezra was, was commanded, okay, these 40 days he's going to be writing books. Okay, it says, So I took the five men as he commanded me, and we went into the field and remained there. Okay. And the next day, behold, a voice called me, uh, call me, saying, Ezra, open thy mouth and drink that I give thee to drink. Then I opened my mouth, and behold, he reached me a full cup, which was full, as it were, with water, but the color of it was like fire. And I took it and drank, and when I had drunk of it, my heart uttered understanding and wisdom grew in my breast, for my spirit strengthened my memory. And my, and my mouth was opened, and I shut no more. Okay? So I was prophesying, you know, scriptures written and writing, man. It says, The highest gave understanding unto the five men, and they wrote the wonderful visions of the night that were told, which they knew not, and they sat forty days, and they wrote in the day, and at night they ate bread. As for me, I spake in the day and, and held my tongue by night. In 40 days they wrote 204 books. Right, 204 books. Verse 45, 2nd Ezra 14 and verse 45. It says, And it came to pass when the, four, when the four 40 days were filled, that the highest spake, saying, The first, see, there it goes again. The first that thou hast written, publish openly okay that the worthy and un unworthy might read it so the first the lord told him to, to to publish to publish them openly that the worthy and unworthy might read it but keep the 70 last that that thou mayest deliver them only to such as be wise among the people so only the wise that would be the elect only the wise are going to get this understanding man okay it says, for in them is the spring of understanding, the fountain of wisdom, and the stream of knowledge. And I did so. Okay, so at the end of the day, those 70 books, man, okay, the wise, okay, the wise are, 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 are going to get that understanding, man. And that's, and that's the elect, man, okay? Okay, uh, dealing uh, particularly with the men of GMS and uh, 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 affiliated okay uh like-minded men that teach the same doctrine okay because the scriptures say that we all we all uh must be of the same mind okay roughly paraphrasing 
You see? And the, the scriptures, I quoted it earlier. Okay, the scriptures say to eat that whole roll, man. You got to have the full understanding, man, so you can teach the 100% truth. Okay, this is Ezekiel, the third chapter. Okay, Ezekiel, the third chapter. It says, moreover, beginning at verse 1, moreover, he said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest. Eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll. You see? And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to, to eat and fill thy bowels with, the, with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat, eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. You see? So that's going back to the lesson, to the title of the lesson. GMS as a body have and teach the 100% truth. So at the end of the day, we eat, we have eaten that roll, man, okay? And we teach it, the 100% truth. When you jump down to the 17th verse, it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So this is the reason why we order the highways and the byways, okay? Giving you warning, man, to let you know that, hey, you have to turn to the Lord and repent, man, for the kingdom is at hand. Take this thing serious, man. Because the Lord tell you straight up, it's no gray areas. The scriptures tell you that, uh, uh, except you uh, repent, you shall likewise perish, man. Because there's no gray areas with the Lord. The Lord said, he, does, he that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. So it's not, it's no, it's no gray area with the Lord. Man. The scriptures tell you how uh, the Lord deals with duality, man. Okay. Uh, 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 two, two, one set against the other, man. Okay. Good set against evil, man. So you gotta you gotta pick your gear, man. Choose this day whom you shall serve. Okay? Alright? As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord, man. I'm gonna get one more. We're gonna get ready to close it out. This is the book of uh Revelation. Revelation, the tenth chapter. This is uh alright. John the Revelator. Okay, I start at verse seven. Going into how you have to eat up this whole book, man. Alright? Uh but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he had declared to his servants the prophets, okay, the prophets. And the voice which I, which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel, which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. Okay, remember the Lord told Ezekiel in the third chapter we just read it to eat that whole roll. It says, And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Verse 11, it says, And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings and that's going into reincarnation man you see but the point is to eat that whole roll okay but the scriptures tell you how uh to uh, scriptures tell you how the spirit of the prophets are subject on to the prophets man you see so that's why daniel was told that he must prophesy again okay uh which is reincarnation going into reincarnation and we read it right here uh, we just read it just now in the book of uh, Revelation, the 10th chapter and 11th verse, which speaks about uh, John the Revelator, that he must prophesy again. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 32, and the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So, we are the prophets coming back, man. Okay, I don't want to have to with those men. Okay, at the end of the day, GMS as a body have and teach the 100% truth, man. Okay, because we were told to eat that whole roll. We eat that roll, man. We go into words. We go into the Hebrew. We go into the Greek. Go into a little Latin. Okay, we do the things that uh, 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 that we have to do to, to study to show ourselves approved and be able to give a quick answer, man. All right, to the spare part of your Bashim Shai. So this has been Great Millstone as a body have and teach the hundred percent truth. Lord willing, you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.